Let me share an anecdote from the spiritual tradition of bhakti yoga that I follow. Whether someone was a yogi living in a forest ashram or family person in a city, after the meal of the day was prepared, before the assembly took their places, the cook would stand outside the premises and loudly call out three times, anyone here who's hungry, please come and eat. And whoever responded to the call was fed first. And when the guests had finished, then the residents could take their places and accept whatever was left. You get the message, it's a nice anecdote. It's everyone's duty to share their food with others. If we can do something about someone going hungry, we should. Now you may ask me whether I follow the example of the anecdote. My answer is yes. And my organization does even more and in a different way. Every day from our centers, a crew of volunteers go to assigned places and distributes hot cooked food. Where I'm now, here in Budapest, vans go out to six locations and distribute 2,000 plates of food to the needy on a daily basis. Now globally, one in seven people are hungry or malnourished. Most of these are in Asia and Africa, but the problem is widespread. 20% of Europeans live in poverty and in the USA, it's 12%. So wherever you are, dear watcher, there too are hungry, that's guaranteed. And if you live in a place where no one would answer your three calls for lunch, then find out where relief organizations feed the hungry and volunteer your service once a week or twice a month and see what you can donate to help alleviate the hunger of those less privileged. Remember, we are given not just to receive, but to share, and sharing is the best assurance to continued receiving.